Look at that chicken. Yes, it is juicy. It is tender. It promises you everything you want in baked chicken. I'm bringing you that. I'm here for it, friends. And a bonus gravy to go with our mashed potatoes. Welcoming you all to the Navis Kitchen. Let's jump in. You need your salt and crushed black pepper to start. Paprika. Oregano. Granulated garlic. Vegetable or chicken bouillon. And some onion powder. A brilliant combination of dry ingredients create a dry rub, perfect dry rub for our chicken. So I have some chicken thighs, skin on, bone in, all the dry rub goes on and I add some sliced onions, and bell peppers, red, yellow and green, add some cherry tomatoes. We're thinking of all that juiciness. So yeah, the tomatoes work here. And I'm also adding some chopped serrano chili for a little bit of kick. And you may remove the seeds from the serrano chili if you don't care for the heat. Also add a handful of Italian or flat leaf parsley, drizzle on some cooking olive oil, and tell me that chicken ain't ready for the oven. Oh, but it is. It is so ready to be cooked and devoured, friends. Look at those colors. Speaking to my soul right now, okay? <laughs> this recipe is no fail because it's offering you the juiciness you want in your baked chicken. You know, sometimes you have baked chicken and it's so dry, dry like toast. Who wants that? Yeah, no, we don't want that. But this baked chicken recipe will leave you wondering why you ate that dry piece of baked chicken the last time you had baked chicken. Yes, don't do that again, okay? Yes, just use this recipe and you'll never ever go back to that dry piece of baked chicken you had the last time. <laughs> all right, so all the vegetables must go on the baking pan, friends, because that's how we're going to get that moisture into the chicken as well as great flavor. Today, we're going to bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit in our preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until the internal temperature of the chicken is above 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And just look at that. You heard, you heard that crispiness? Yes, baked chicken can also present with crispy chicken skin, the only way you must enjoy your chicken skin. We don't want any limpiness going on. We don't want any flaccid skin, no, crispy. As if we even fried the chicken, it's just perfection. So we've separated the chicken pieces from the baking pan. Leaving behind the caramelized vegetables. So we released all those sticky sugars that were released from the caramelized vegetables with some hot water. Now we're passing everything through a strainer. So what we're doing now, friends, is we're getting the juices ready for our bonus chicken gravy to go with our mashed potatoes. And this right here is your thickening agent for your next super stew. Now, I have a tablespoon of cornstarch. I've added just one tablespoon of water to it, and that's going to thicken our gravy. First, we're going to bring the strained juices to a boil. And then we'll add our thickener. Slurry has gone in, we'll continue to let it boil in order to reduce and concentrate the flavors. And then we'll go in and season with some salt and crushed black pepper if needed, so taste. At some point you will want to taste this when you feel you've reached your desired concentration taste it and if you need salt go ahead and add it now i've also added a little bit of butter just to give it that gloss before we serve and voila isn't that a thing of beauty to behold oh it looks even better when it goes onto this mashed potatoes 
served alongside some candied carrots, baby carrots that is. Everything on this plate was so, so good, delicious. And that gravy was the cherry on top for me. And just take a look at how juicy this chicken is. I know you're inspired to try this recipe. Please do and return with your feedback. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time. And here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes friend. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.